गुड मॉर्निंग डॉक्टर तोमर डॉक्टर अजय सिंह डॉक्टर अलका मैम हाँ जी गुड आफ्टरनून सर और अगेन गुड आफ्टरनून थैंक यू थैंक यू कैसे हैं आप गुड आफ्टरनून सर इट इज रियली वेरी नाइस की डॉक्टर तोमर हैज ब्रॉट अप ऑल अस टुगेदर ऑन वन प्लेटफॉर्म वेरी हैप्पी टू सी डॉक्टर अजय सिंह Uh, yes. Yes, yes. It is, it is really good opportunity to yes, see yes. the everybody, every floriculture yes. family members. Yes, very nice. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Please keep it up. Thank you. Yes. 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 so thank you so much uh, <coughs> madam alka singh for joining uh, this program just to be going to start today's uh, dear participants today's lecture uh will be delivered uh, on this uh, topic very important topic it is very art and skills related topic uh, and uh, the topic's name is a floral arrangement flower arrangement and floral craft uh, the department's name is floriculture and landscaping so the our in, university uh, icr system also we have a course value addition and flowers so we have uh, three kinds of value added product uh, fresh flower arrangement uh, dry flower arrangement so the very renowned speaker uh, about this uh, topic uh, she will deliver this uh, very important lecture uh, by madam dr alka singh professor and head department of floriculture landscape architecture sp college of horticulture and forestry navasari agriculture university navasari gujarat so thank you so much madam for accepting my request <laughs> as a key no as a key speaker uh, during this session uh, madam alka singh is well known face in the field of floriculture in our country uh, she is presently working as a professor and head in the department of floriculture landscape architecture at navasari agriculture university she graduated as gold medalist msc horticulture is faculty topper from gujarat agriculture university and phd horticulture from cscs university merit uttar pradesh as an indo us research fellow she was associated with the university of california davis usa during the year 2009 and 10 she is recipient she is recipient of young fellow award 2006 by the society for recent development in agriculture all india west publication award 2017 by the society for advancement of human and nature young scientist award 2018 and uh, itga manmohan attawar gold medal in floriculture 2018 by the horticulture society of india gas raj research award on dry flower technology 2019 besides various paper presentation awards in different seminars and symposia at national level she is in love with flowers from her childhood days and thus creates a passion for her subject her area of research involves protected cultivation technology of flowers ornamental plants and their value addition she has compiled edited 16 books compendiums 15 book chapters 50 popular technical articles and 60 research papers in national international journals she has guided more than 20 students as a major guide for msc and phd degrees 
She is actively involved in conducting trainings, organizing seminars, symposia, workshops, and exhibitions on different aspects of horticulture at Navasari Agriculture University, Navasari, Gujarat. She has developed uh, papers in different scientific meeting, uh, meetings, uh, presented papers uh, in USA and Denmark. She is a nature lover and admirer of arts, as well as believes in the strength of science and technology for the upliftment of humanity. So the uh, name of Dr. Alka Singh doesn't need any introduction, but it is a, it was a customary from my side to introduce uh, uh, Madam before the audience because uh, Madam's uh, YouTube channel also is uh, running in the uh, social this was social media about the flower arrangement. Each and every aspect of the flower arrangement we learn from the from her YouTube channel. So thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for joining this webinar and as a key speaker. So now I request you uh, to deliver uh, lecture on this uh, flower arrangements. Thank you, ma'am. Please go ahead. Madam, are you listening? मैडम आप अपने को अनम्यूट करिए यस वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन एंड एज आई सेड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी एवरीवन आई थिंक माय वॉइस इज ऑडिबल जस्ट यस 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 ऑडिबल इज फाइन फाइन सो आई विल गो अहेड विद द स्क्रीन यू शेयर योर स्क्रीन मैडम यस यस एंड जस्ट टेल मी एग्जैक्टली हाउ मच टाइम आई हैव सो दैट आई कॉल यू 40 40 मिनट्स एक्चुअली बट वी आर लेट सो नो प्रॉब्लम यू आर ऑलरेडी लेट सो हाउ मच यू बट यू कैन टेक 40 मिनट्स मैडम नो प्रॉब्लम फाइन ठीक है The screen is visible. Ah, uh, screen. The uh, slide show. Me show. Kar dijiye, madam. Slide show. Hanji, hanji, hanji. Now it okay. is visible okay. and you are audible. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, go ahead, madam. Yes. So uh, the topic is uh, based on flower arrangement and floral craft. And uh, first, you know, it is such an interesting topic. Whenever such topic comes, I feel more, uh, you know, more happy and more enthusiastic when uh, students are in front of me. So that you know, I like uh, putting up some questions. And but here on, um, since it is an online mode, uh, we are helpless in that. So it becomes like a, a lecture kind of from one sided. So, um, but still, I'll be. i'll be asking some questions so at least students will start thinking on those terms like uh, how do you feel when you enter uh, in the field of flowers like you just feel like a child right and we we are not eating flowers uh, it's true like nowadays uh, the importance of edible flowers have come up but basically jo uh, phool hain the way they have been cultivated they are mostly cultivated not for eating purpose they are cultivated for other more values so why is it so like why a people want to have flowers around themselves or jitne bhi important occasion have they are just incomplete without flowers so there has to be something because thing is whenever you see a bunch of flowers or flower arrangement you know you just feel happy it gives you joy for no reason there may be no logic behind that but you just feel happy and that is the reason flowers hold a special place uh, whether it is any ceremony whether you you are worshiping or uh, even in weddings or any anything new when you are starting any nuptial function they are just incomplete so there has to be some deep lying reason behind that and the reason is just as a flowers bloom you feel like you are blooming like when you see 
a field of flowers just blooming even uh, just a field of mustard you know pura pura field as a flower se khila rehta hai it just gives you joy and is it is sheer joy there is there is no anything more you you stop thinking when you see such beautiful flowers just blooming just shining and that gives a you know you just feel cheerful from inside and when you are so happy when you are so cheerful what happens you you your stress goes away and when your stress goes away you your your mood is better your uh, attitude towards life becomes positive you start thinking in a creative way you you become more positive right so when you work in that environment you work uh, better your work performance improves now ye main aise nahi keh rahi there have been some studies as per the department of psychology at rutgers university as well as at lasell university philadelphia now talking about value addition aur jo ye jo flower arrangement value addition ka jo topic rakha hai doctor sahab ne it has been very well chosen and uh, almost all topics have been covered but uh, since the topic that has been given to me is on flower arrangement for a craft so uh, thing is flowers are very very perishable so whatever craft or whatever flower arrangement you make it has to have the long lasting effect because even if you make it beautiful but if it is not going to last it is of no use na so uh, in general different value addition mein flower arrangement is very very important because in flower arrangement the money you are adding it is in multiple you know it is just not 20 30% but I, as i said it is in multiple flowers which are costing you 100 rupees by arranging them properly by making a nice bouquet or making a nice basket you know you can sell it for 300 400 so it goes in multiple and on on uh, search engine google search engine you will find out many factories now they started calling uh, flowers with terms like factory hmm? even one single rose or single flower you can just package it or you just um, make it in such a nice way by wrapping it you know you you can enhance its value and there are so many ways like you can just go ahead with uh, flower arranging So basically, what is flower arrangement? It is just an art and science of arranging cut flowers and foliage in a container to make it more artistic and beautiful. But the thing is, you have to take care that its life is not reduced. You know, its waste life has to be retained. Its quality has to be retained. Its post harvest quality has to be retained. Now, talking about the basic. types of flower arrangement first is western style which everyone knows like we know uh, what we see during wedding times during most of the stage decorations it is all western type another is eastern that is ikebana and the third one the contemporary free style you can go ahead with all mix and match now basic difference kya hai in western style you are using a lot many flowers hmm? mass effect is there in western while in ikebana it is completely opposite you will see this first uh, photograph that is showing the mass effect you can see lot many flowers while in ikebana you will see very few flowers and contemporary you can go ahead with your own creativity you can just mix and match even the western and eastern concept you can bring together so uh, as as i said that in western style it is you are uh, giving mass effect and then there is some geometry also geometry in a formal artistic way uh jaise ki you you will make some round or you will make triangles basically uh, it started this uh, western style started with triangles uh eastern is ba- more based on spirituality and artistic way now what are the plant material you need flower material you need i think uh, this thing should be clear but again i'll just um, let you know it is lime so those flowers which are having line effect which are in line shape <clears throat> mass flowers are those which are round in shape circular forms are a bit unusual or uncommon flowers and pillars are those flowers and or foliage which just fills up the space so basically you need lot you can uh, utilize um, different type of containers ways they could be ways like this which are taller and you know the width is less you can go ahead with different kind of baskets you can go ahead with different type of shapes 
uh, which could be novel. <clears throat> then in Western style, you use floral form, like how you will, you, you are having flowers, foliage, you are having container, but then how you will arrange them for that floral form is, is needed. And nowadays floral form is available in so many different shapes. You can just cut the floral form as you need it. And even you can stick on the wall. You can make small bouquets with the handle also. You can even have the spherical uh, form. So you can just arrange them you know, beautifully. So, <coughs> sorry. So what are the important considerations? Important considerations are the design outline. How you'll make the design outline? It is with the line flower. Like if it is a triangle, you will use the line flowers. Then to give the focal effect, you will use mass flowers. And uh, to give the complete look, you will use pillars. I'll show some video also, so that the thing would be more clear to everyone. Now in Western, it started, as I said, with the mass kind of first, uh, the arrangement that was um, initially, it, it came up as triangular. And in triangular also, it is having more mass effect. So they were known as traditional mass arrangements. That is those arrangements which were bold and beautiful and uh, with many forms and colors and textures. You know, they, they would use many different kinds of textures like flowers, uh, could be larger flowers, then uh, finer flowers, foliage, or they would just mix and match. So that way it would. Then traditional line design. Traditional line design mein kya hota? Uh, it is some completely different from traditional mass. In traditional mass, we were using a lot many flowers you know, to get the mass effect. But here, the lines are enhanced. So um, like L shape, if you make, or you make S curve, or you make a vertical, or you make crescent, or you make S Hogarth curve, they just go over them. So here, the lines are more enhanced. <clears throat> <coughs> then traditional line mass um, in traditional line mass both the things are mixed up like mass effect is also there but then lines are also enhanced so that at the edges you will find the lines like this so basically jo crescent hai, like half moon style jo hai, usme, the base is made with mass flower you know, here you will see these roses and asparagus is being used for them for line. Uh, you will see this cycus palm and some gladiolus. So like that, the line effect is also being enhanced. So basically standard patterns, agar we, if we see in Western, so it is triangular, then round or spherical, oval, S-curve, L-shape and crescent. A few photographs I am showing. The subject is like, if you see it practically, you understand it better. And, and if you do yourself, like if you start practicing it, you, you learn it better. But cer certain things you should know. Then uh, next comes up Ikebana. Ikebana, I would say it is a more disciplined art form and where nature and humanity are brought together. So you just get connected with nature. Uh -huh. the, the way things are happening in nature, you will see that you will see very few things are symmetrical. Or I would say uh, uh, the, you, you, will see, you will see very small things, minute things, uh, like you will see a, a shrub, you will see a tree, and you will see grass also. So, <clears throat> There is a combination of so many things together and it is in that total effect, it looks beautiful. Like you see a river, riverside, riverbed, uh, there is the, the water is flowing and you will see grasses and you will see some lilies and you will see some shrub or a tree. So that kind of nature, you know, some concept of nature in that way is being brought up in Ikevan. So it, it relates you with more creativity with more spontaneity, with more liveliness, and of course, spirituality. Spirituality, how do I tell you? 
spirituality as a ki when you start doing when you start practicing see in western style you just follow your these strict rules like you have to go for particular geometry you have to go for particular shape but when you start doing ikebana it is not a fixed thing you know it is not like every time you have to make in this form it will differ so when you when you you create ikebana you are completely into it so uh, your other thoughts they just stop and when your other thoughts stop it becomes meditative and when it becomes meditative uh, your spiritual journey begins so that is why i said like it connects you deep inside uh, at spiritual level as well so wo jo hota hai it brings you in the moment and this you won't realize until you do it like when you you do it you will come into the into that moment you will be in the moment और दूसरा है कि इन इके पाना इट इज इट मेक्स यू आइडेंटिफाई विद दी गुडनेस इन लाइफ लाइक लाइफ में लाइफ का जो अच्छी अच्छी चीजें हैं लाइक विच आर मोर एस्थेटिक विच आर मोर ब्यूटिफुल लाइक लाइक म्यूजिक लाइक पेंटिंग इवन योर दो थिंग्स ऑल्सो इनिशिएट वंस यू आर इन टू इके पाना सो अर्लियर इट वॉज लाइक जो ओनली द मोंग्स monks or they 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 used to practice in ikebana common people were not doing were not allowed to learn, uh, to learn this technique they were they should know first meditation they they should they should have some you know um uh, in ki monastery mein jo log hote the only they used to make ikebana only they were allowed and then slowly it it started like uh, common people started learning and that is how it became uh, uh entered in the overall society so here if we if we you know bifurcate this term ikke bana ikke is to set in and bana is flower so ikke bana is a um flower which is set and uh, ikke also means life so a living flower i would say living flower is ikke bana it is an expression and it signifies life and freshness as it is as it is dusra kya hai ki whatever is in to bloom like trees hai shrubs hai whatever comes into bloom those stems or those shrubs or those flowers twigs everything is being used in ikebana so basically you will see this is the um diagram hmm? there are three lines and uh, two are extra two are just added to me to make it more aesthetic so first jo the basic line hai that is shame and there is so and the third one is hiki <clears throat> here you will see uh, some common photographs of ikebana so here you will see uh, even the fruits what are what are we saying like whatever is into bloom is being used so sometimes even the fruits small ornamental fruits are also being used foliage is whatever is there nearby you can just use it and you know there is one style so get so ikebana so get so that it is more of modern ikebana so there in not even the three particular lines are you need not to bifurcate even the three lines so it it makes ikebana just in two forms object and subject these are the two very very basic styles of ikebana moribana and najer this first one first one this is moribana moribana is done in a shallow container okay and uh, wherein pin holder is used to hold the flowers while in najer it is done in tall container like a vase kind of container and uh, to hold the flowers um hana kubari that is two twigs two any twigs are being tied together or a single twig is just being fastened on the on the mouth opening of the base and that is how the uh, plant material the class are they are just being arranged in that way and again the way your your main line this is the main line shin and here this one is the main main line shin okay so the way it tilts it is upright slanting that way it is being uh, again bifurcated bifurcated okay i i need not to go uh, into dry flowers i think there have already been uh, very good talks on uh, in, in your schedule 
on dry flask. So, um, but the, the this floral craft uh, is also included in my topics. I'm just showing some photographs of some factories. Uh, this is from Ramesh Flowers, uh, Tamil Nadu. Beautiful work they are doing in making floral craft. And you can use um, so many things in dry flowers. I'll, I'm not going much in detail of this. And then this pot puree, again, some part of floral craft involves because lots of things can be utilized, uh, which we think are not that important aesthetically, even the dried parts, uh, dry leaves, pollen leaves, and then some flowers uh, after drying them, you can, you can club them beautifully. So this is just a basic concept uh, based on flower arrangement I showed. Now I'll show you some technique, how we can, how you can go ahead um, of, of making such kind of arrangements. So I'll again, I'll stop sharing and again, I'll share the screen. Uh, this is a training video. Welcome back everyone. In my previous video, I have shown you all different techniques of flower arrangement. Now I'll be showing you practically how you can make them. I'll be showing you three arrangements. One very formal one that is symmetrical triangle. Another horizontal arrangement I'll be showing you. A contemporary art. So as you see, this is the basic line. For okay, is the video visible? हाँ यस मैडम बिजबिल हाँ जी ठीक है तो ये मैं थोड़ा सा इसको फास्ट कर करके दिखाऊंगी हाँ जी 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 हाँ जी स्टूडेंट्स कैट एन आइडिया जी सो यू विल सी हियर दिस आर द थ्री बेसिक लाइंस जब आपको ट्रायंगल बनाना है तो थ्री थ्री बेसिक लाइंस आपको इस तरह से क्रिएट करनी है एंड देन सम फिलर्� I'll just go ahead with it quickly so that I I'll be able I can I can show you this western as well as some Ikebana as well. First line of symmetrical triangle and these are the two lines which are at equal length. I'll be inserting two more tubules. So I made the main line and the side lines with tubules and I'm making this line stronger with other two tubules. And some present them at the front as well. that I'll place at the center. Green fonts. Flower is extra or going outside the geometry will just trim it off. A holder as it. So this is a one basic style that is triangle, which uh, students can you know if you practice it you can easily make it. It is very easy to make. Uh, color combination may you have to take care that don't go for many many colors. So here you will see that just. Green, white, and yellow tones are used. You can just mix and match. You can add one more color to it. 
maybe orange or red what goes well with yellow so and then it will also depend the for what purpose you are making the arrangement for which purpose so accordingly also you can go ahead with the color combinations another one i'm showing is one uh, uh, yeah horizontal arrangement shouldn't be more <laughs> enhance the length of the arrangement here I'm so this kind of arrangement uh, which you will you will see here it is basically for making on to, uh, table tops right so um, when some meeting is going on and uh, on table you want to keep some flowers you should make an arrangement which is not very taller in height so that way you have to make it you know it it has to spread uh, basically on the table top so you can make a horizontal arrangement like this you can make it even circular but here i am showing a horizontal arrangement using i am trying to make an arrangement which is horizontal and which is having good length as well so it is uh, low in height and it is vertical so it is low in height and it is horizontal It's very soothing to the eyes. The white orchids, dendrobium. You to keep in mind the shape. <clears throat> and on the both sides it should be almost similar you have to keep in mind the shape that is horizontal and it is low in and on the both sides it should be almost similar you have to keep in mind the shape that is horizontal and it is low in height so accordingly you can just keep inserting plant material on both the sides like this this syngonium so on the both sides i'll be using same kind of foliage as well it's very easy you can just cut them at the same length and insert then i have got this nice uh, money plant pothos and that too i can use them to enhance the length and they also blend very nicely with this variegated foliage and they really look pretty well and the head part you are so meeting is going on you can place it on the table and it is it doesn't obstruct anyone as you see here on both the sides it looks so nice so beautiful from both the sides there it is a nice arrangement for table decoration welcome back everyone moribund tie easy to order from my indoor garden moribund tie everyone with and 
pin holder is more you want to say and pin holder uh, so here uh, we have already seen the western i showed you two arrangements in western then now very simple style that is moribana very easy to make very easy and students can easily learn it okay so i'm just showing the uh, making of moribana so copper pin holder to hold it to hold the material so first i'm inserting the first line that is arelia the basic line that is shape in and second line that is so which would be two third of the length of shin and i'll keep the angle little towards the front and towards the right like this third line i'll be using uh, the spawn asparagus that is the tie and i'll keep its angle little ikebana have a lot of three dimensional look now some juice for juice i'll be using the leaves which i have cut from the lower like this and now i'll be going for orchids so this is the basic structure you can see clearly Ikebana with some arelia, some foliage. Little strong line I am making using arelia. Since this Diphenbachia leaf is looking little heavy, so I'll I'll just do a little cut. Ikebana leaves are not allowed to be trimmed much. Like this. I'm giving a little slant effect. Second line, I'll place this orchid. Now to give a complete look, I'll be using three terms.
so this was about class arrangement and i would be happy if students have some questions or queries okay i'm i think i'm audible someone has asked about uh, madam uh, thank you so much uh, madam one of the student is asking your youtube channel name anji flora talk by alka flora okay. talk by alka thank you so thank you so much madam uh, for showing uh, this video so after seeing a video i think our students uh, yeah, these participants yes, yes. could get uh, this uh, kind of uh, practical exposure so yes. how to arrange the line this uh, sinsu hike and uh, uh, here in which angle line should be placed so uh, really it is a, means amazing uh, after seeing a video their concept and their confidence naturally will be built up so thank you so much madam okay thank you so uh, for uh, for uh, this delivering a very wonderful lecture and uh, uh, spare your valuable time uh, with us though we started a late uh, yeah, that's why i was so, worried like how much time i should take and <laughs> it will be faster in this thank you thank you so much madam so on behalf of the department of floriculture landscaping at banda university uh, we express our gratitude to you uh for a uh, part of this webinar thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you thank you so much so participants uh, now we have a second uh, speaker uh, on this and uh, the technical session uh, dr ellen mahawar sir sir uh, you are here you are connected sir mahawar sir namaskar yeah yeah i am connected okay sir okay sir namaskar sir namaskar namaskar sir uh, so for participants uh, we have uh, this uh, lecture uh, on this very important topic uh, uh, regarding this uh, preparation of processed value added products of roses and uh, during this covid covid 19 period uh, we uh, experienced uh, our growers have just thrown the flowers uh, roses flowers and this marigold flowers due to uh, not uh, getting a market uh, because of the lockdown across the country so this is a very important uh, topic uh, so during this time our नहीं नहीं इसमें पता नहीं क्या है माय वॉइस इज कमिंग नहीं माय वॉइस इज नॉट कमिंग ना ओके सो ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम this uh, directorate of floriculture research uh, pune and others organizations also means issued the advisory how to prepare this uh, flowers uh, into valuated products so the process uh, valuated products was a very important uh, aspect and uh, most of the growers uh, utilize also so dr mahawar sir will speak on this uh, topic uh, so uh, dr mahawar sir is uh, presently working as a professor Uh, as a you know I, I, icrp on floriculture department of horticulture uh, maharashtra pratap university of agriculture and technology udaipur rajasthan sir obtained bsc agriculture degree from rajasthan agriculture university bikaner icr junior research fellowship 1990 in horticulture msc and phd degree in horticulture with specialization in floriculture landscaping from iri new delhi in 1993 1997 uh, since then from uh, working as agriculture research officer and assistant director of horticulture at uh, government of rajasthan and uh, uh, then uh, sir joined this uh, 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 university of agriculture technology uh, as a training organizer uh, kvk baswada as associate, associate professor icrp on floriculture and research under directorate of research and teaching activity a department of horticulture or rajasthan college of agriculture so various uh, recommendations had passed through uh, meetings uh, ars uh, mput udaipur on floriculture annual group meeting and after two three the experience intention uh, to strengthen the package of practices under 
crop production and post harvest section for state department of horticulture for flower crop to the benefit of farmers recommended 25 cultivars in chrysanthemum for pot and loose flower crops five cultivars in gladiolus for cut flower six cultivars in tuberose for cut flower he had also developed seven lines at mpt udaipur out of which mpt uh, gops 13 for double types and five and seven for semi double types in gladiolus for loose flower production and short stature tuberose pratap rajni 7 proposed for test uh, under icrp mode and mpt selection 7 for landscape purpose he had guided a six msc and six phd scholars as major advisor and more than this uh, msc is, uh, as a co advisor also as an external examiner so dr mahavar sir name is a very renowned name in the field of floriculture science so thank you so much sir for accepting uh, our request and uh, this uh, invitation uh, to be a part of this important webinar on behalf of this uh, university as a host i invite you sir and i express my thank to you uh, sir uh, now you go ahead your uh, this uh, slide is visible sir please okay i am i am audible properly dr tomar yes sir you are audible uh, please okay. sir you go ahead sir so first of all i am thankful uh, to your honorable vice chancellor of bada university and especially dr tomar and dr ajay kumar singh who has invited me for this valuable talk since uh, uh, the today talk was on processing and value addition uh, especially for raw product what we are working in rajasthan and uh, especially for the roses these are the uh, certain parts of the introduction rose products various rose project uh, uh, rose product can be prepared like rose water rose oil rose attar or itra rose otto rose concrete rose absolute gulkan gulrogan pankudi rose hips and uh, rose hips syrup and uh, rose hips jam rose perfume and rose wine rose scented soap and uh, various others so as we know that rose is a queen of flower and it is a uh, first cut flower in international uh, floriculture trade and especially this genus roja contain diploid chromosome number 2 n equal to 40 belong to the rosaceae and uh, it comprises from 100, uh, 120 species there are more than uh, 30000 cultivar it is grown worldwide as a cut flower loose flower pot plants and for beds and borders in gardens and everlasting and aesthetic beauty of the rose and their delicate fragrance had utilized for the value added product from the thousands of the year by the human being especially uh, this rose water very important product which has been very famous here in our pushkar area of the district ajmer and now uh, there is a scarcity of water in the pushkar area so now we are going to shift the uh, this uh, area of the borbon rose towards the chitorgarh uh district of the rajasthan especially village ghoda kheda and another popular name uh, in nearby our udaipur district there is a uh, place haldi ghati and kamnor is a panchayat samiti and then rasamand district is the area so where we are get, going to get these uh, two special roses uh, one is borbon rose is famous for the pushkar uh, and then another with uh, roja damasina that is famous for the perfumes and uh, itra so rose water is made by boiling the rose petal in water it is allowed to simmer with the lid in order to tape the perfume it is then strained and kept in jar now it can be used according to the choice as in a commercial scale it is prepared by uh, steam distillation of the flower with intact calyx with twice of their weight if we are taking 1 kg of the flower then we can have to take the uh, 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 two liter or two kg of the water in tin copper steel fitted with a fast bottom copper condenser and receive receiver which are cooked with the running water and it takes four to five hours time once you started then it will take four to five hours for the rose water uh, collection or distillation so rose water out its scent mainly due to phenyl ethyl alcohol any rose water which is having the fragrance or flavor that is due to phenyl ethyl alcohol and rose water is required from the distillation of the rose oil is mildly astringent and beneficial for eye drop we can use this uh, rose water especially for cleaning of the eyes and uh, 
refreshing dry skin and uh, sensitive skin also and uh, sprinkling on the uh, guest on various uh, uh, ceremonial functions like marriages and other so it is used as a perfume as a vehicle for the medicines and in confectionery so it can be used as a carrier as far as rose oil is concerned mogal emperor babar first introduced this roja moschata and roja damasina in india at his garden near agra in 1526 and empress noor jaha the wife of the babar's descendant and emperor jahangir is believed to have discovered rose oil in 1612 it is said that she noticed the drop of the rose oil floating on the surface of the water while she was taking the bath in a tank full of rose water she observed that due to heat of the sun there is a th- formation of thin layer of the uh, oil on the top surface of the water then she ordered that this oil should be skimmed off and put carefully into bottle and sealed it and the essential oil is present in the epidermal cell of the inner surface of the petal which constitute the most highly perfumed part of the flower so the relative concentration of the essential oil in the different parts of the flower of roja, roja damasina that is also known as cheti rose in our local language and various varieties are available like a noor jahan jwala himroj and uh, especially the composition which is existing 92 uh, 92.8% in is in petals and followed by stamen 4.6% and ovary with calyx 2 to 3% and stigma contain oil only 0.3% then roj itra or roj atar atar is a persian or arabic word meaning fragrance or scent or essence it is also referred as the most exotic natural fragrance for the soul so roj atars are next to the roj water that is a second product and roj atar has been famous in the persia and india for over 5000 years roj oto it is again uh, it is produced through again steam distillation of the roj uh, fresh flowers the rose oil is not obtained directly from the distillate but the it is collected from the rose water during hydro distillation process from the petals and it is, it has antimicrobial properties and also reported beneficial for treatment of the gallstone it is 100% pure the roses and it is obtained from the fresh rose petal through solvent extraction like a petroleum ether or oil the fresh petals are dipped in petroleum ether and stirred until the oil in the petal is dissolved in the solvent and the solvent is then evaporated at low temperature and low pressure or reduced pressure and the concrete of the rose contain waxy residue and essential oil of the rose hexane is also used as a solvent for extraction of essential oil from the rose and the rose concrete recovery ranges from 0.18 to 0.30% and which is reddish brown in color waxy reddish brown in color with waxy material reported by singh et al 2003 that was the rose perfume and it is produced through a rose absolute it is produced through a refined liquid chemical extraction of fragrant compound from fresh flower the wax is separated from the rose concrete with pure alcohol so once you got the rose concrete then it should be washed with the help of a pure alcohol and the absolute of the rose it is sticky browny soil and most costly product in the market then gulkan so during lockdown what we are facing the problem that uh, during covid 19 the movement of the labor even then transportation and fresh flower consumptions was reduced so what we are focusing from 2017 here uh, we are trying to create a new pushkar area without temple uh, in case of a, our chitorgarh district there is a plenty of water so we are going to create this one and especially uh this uh, aligarh is very famous in up pushkar valley in ajmer and khamnor in Raj- rasamam and godakhada area and bindana in the chitorgarh district of rajasthan amritsar and abor in punjab 
so near by that rose growing area is promoting and it is prepared especially gulkan it is prepared once you harvest the fresh flower then keep it keep it for pre cooling means you uh, uh, keep it at the room temperature on the clean floor hygienic floor and then next day morning you have to separate the this petal you have to separate remove the uh, uh, this your epicalyx uh, uh, calyx have to be removed even then pedicels and other things have any stamen should be removed and after that we have to mix this rose petal with the white sugar in equal proportion respectively and one of our student here uh, work uh, mr jart it all 2018 worked on his msc thesis and after that this technology has been tested in the agricultural floriculture uh, rose petal jam especially gulkan preparation rose petal plus sugar 1 is to 1.25 was found the best for quality parameter another our second student work on testing of the rose product from the pushkar area and uh, this uh, haldi ghati area especially khamnor and this uh, goda khed area and we tested the product uh, market product and we prepare our own standard for the market uh, standard for the rose gulkan and work down on the market product testing for the gulkan the standard another important product is gulrogan hair oil prepared from the freshly harvested rose petal of roja damasina is known as gulrogan so gulrogan is a hair oil and for this purpose seed sesamum seed sesamum indicum seeds are soaked in water to remove their cover covering means we have to remove the seed coat and these are then dried in sun and the fresh rose petals and de husk sesamum seeds are spread in thin layer and one over the other for 10 to 12 days 10 to 12 hours daily if you have to spread the thin layer of the rose petal on de husk sesamum seed and the exhausted petals are replaced daily by the fresh flower for 7 to 7 days till the seeds are completely saturated with the rose oil and these seeds are then distilled and with the steam distilled vapors are absorbed in sandalwood oil and these treated seeds can be crushed in a press to extract the perfume oil and it is known as a gulrogan <laughs> then pankhuri dried uh, this uh, uh, bourbon rose petals are called pankhuri and the rose petals are dried in a shed so uh, besides that uh, rose gulkan we are also working with the pankhuri here and the rose petals are dried in a shed and this is used during hot weather for the preparation of cold drinks pankhuri are sold on wholesale price ranging from rupees 250 to 300 by the rose growers from chitorgarh to the traders of pushkar and amdavad and uh, uh, other states rose hip whenever certain species set the seeds for the capsule and uh, especially from the fruit that is known as hip hip is the fruit in the rosaceae family and uh, especially in case of a rose so excellent it is excellent source of vitamin c and popular for market making the tea oils and syrups rose hips can also be utilized to make a delicious jam and jelly and rose hips from the roja roga rugosa species are often said to be the tastiest fruit for the consumption rose hips contain 400 percent more vitamin c than the oranges so it is it opens the new opportunity and here certain other species like roja involucrata even the roja chinensis and they will set the seeds in rajasthan condition uh, then rose hip syrup that is uh, we can also prepare the syrup by boiling the washed rose hips in water for this purpose we can use 2 kg of the rose hips which has to be boiled in water in a pan and smeared smeared until the hips are quite soft and so that they may be pulped and the hot juice is to be bottled and when cooled one teaspoon full of can be consumed every day as a tonic rose hip jam next product was the rose hip jam and to prepare the jam we have to 2.5 kg of the hip is washed thoroughly and placed in the jam pan to which we have to add 1.5 liter of water is added and the content is then boiled and smeared for the 15 minutes and the boiled hips are again strained and the sugar is added 
at the rate of 250 gram per 500 gram of the pulp whatever the pulp quantity we are getting then we can use 250 gram of the sugar for 500 gram of pulp these are then again boiled and stirred for the uh, 20 minutes and then transfer to the uh, jar then these are the uh, some pot puris strongly scented uh, varieties of the roses are good for making pot puri the cabbage rose especially roja centifolia is considered to be one of the best and sun drying is the best easiest and quicker uh, method for preparation of the rose pot puri but oil will be lost under sun drying so shared and warm room drying with the well ventilation is better and quick drying is essential as it seems to fix the oil so wire trays are good and ideal for the rose drying and wire trays ensure a good circulation of air it is an as uh, easiest rose product as far as its preparation is concerned petals are collected from yet to open buds and placed in a basin around three parts of the basin full of the rose petal is taken which possesses a rich perfume and which have been dried in airy shadow room these are the some other product like a rose perfume rose wine rose scented soap rose scented cold cream rose pot puri rose petal bags agarbatti and dubbatti and rose medicine these are the certain activities and what is the picture we are watching here that is the fresh flower of the bourbon rose and after pre cooling we are uh, separating this uh, how we are separating this um, uh, epicalyx and calyx uh, this um, your stamens and pedicels and then we have we are keep uh, separating it with the help of a exhaust fan and you can see the our present honorable vice chancellor dr janki ram was the mentor for this program and uh, this uh, dr kv prasad our respected director uh, indian institute of floriculture research also visited our activity so i am thankful uh, to the dr tomar sir and especially uh, your honorable vice chancellor thank you very much for listening me thank you thank you sir thank you so much sir for a very nice presentation kya ho jata hai sir thank you thank you dr thank you ye yahan to na le gayi bachpe sir ko namaste aawaz nahi aa rahi hai sir aapki sir ko mute kariye unmute kijiye bachpe sir ko yes yes कैसे हो डॉक्टर साहब कैसे हम अच्छे हैं डॉक्टर साहब बिल्कुल बहुत अच्छे हैं <laughs> बहुत दिनों बाद आपके दर्शन हो रहे हैं हाँ मैं भी मैंने कहा वाजपेयी साहब नजर नहीं आए तो मैं मैंने कहा रुक जाता हूँ अब आपके लेक्चर में हम कहा से नजर आते हैं हम तो बाद में नजर आएंगे ना सर हाल चल रहे बस ठीक है डॉक्टर साहब ठीक है अच्छा एकदम अच्छा है गुड गुड वेरी गुड कब आ रहे हैं सर बस जल्दी मिलेंगे डॉक्टर साहब होली है मिलेंगे चलो थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर साहब थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू thank you sir uh, for uh, accepting our request and presenting this very uh, nice presentation about the preparation of rose products how this uh, rose can be processed and it will be converted into uh, very valuable products generally uh, this corona period where uh, our flower farmers and flower growers faced a lot of problems and have they thrown away the flowers in a bulk so so you have suggested and as you told you have p also in rajasthan so this is very wonderful thing is going on in a, this part of the country and punjab also dr arke dubey sir uh, prepared uh, rose syrup so this is a very valuable thing to so, uh, mahavar sir ka main bahut bahut dhanyawad karta hu and we are associated with mahavar sir lal sir help us to uh, provide janplaz mein regarding the gladiolus uh, to conduct the msc trial in our college in university so thank you so much mahavar sir uh, at the point of time i express my sincere thanks and uh, pranam to you 
so participants in this uh, closing session uh, so we have very eminent speaker and president of this program uh, dr yc gupta sir dr yc gupta uh, is a um, professor and advisor college of horticulture and forestry uh, dr y s parmar university of horticulture and forestry mandi and uh, uh, the president of this program is dr uh, uh, N.K. Vajpayee, sir, he is a director of extension uh, in the Banda University of Agriculture and Technology. And uh, so this program, uh, we are uh, going to have this plen plenary session. So before that, uh, a plenary session, uh, Vaisi Gupta, sir, you have joined, sir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, Vajpayee, sir, namaskar. <laughs> Pranam, sir. Namaskar. And uh, Gupta, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar, Gupta, sir. Namaskar. So, so, sir, sir uh, at this. Yes, sir. So, uh, uh, not to waste uh, the uh, wasting time, we uh, start part of this program. Uh, uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar Singh, head of the Department of College of Agriculture and Landscaping, uh, to present a welcome address. Uh, uh, the dignitaries uh, virtually. Uh, virtually. So, so please, please, uh, uh, Dr. Jay Kumar Singh. Uh, thank you, Dr. Tumar. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, on the behalf of uh, organizing committee and the Department of Agriculture and Landscape Architecture, Banda University of Agriculture and Technology, Banda, uh, I welcome you all uh, in this plenary section uh, session of the two days virtual national workshop on the post harvest management and value addition of ornamentals. Uh, in these two days, we have a very good in, and very informative lectures from the various scientists and the experts of the different aspects and the themes, like present status of Indian political industry, post harvest physiology and post harvest handling of cut flower as well as goose flowers, process value added products of the flowers, extractions of uh, essential oils and natural pigments from the flowers, drying techniques and value addition of ornamentals as well as the flower arrangements and coral parts etc i hope these lectures and expert views have definitely enriched your knowledge and the new dimensions and it may create it more quest for you uh, for the post harvest management and value addition of ornamental funds on this very session i would like to take this opportunity to warm welcome a very renowned floriculture scientist dr vaisi gupta sir as a plenary speaker in this session. He is a professor come advisor, College of Horticulture uh, and Forestry, Dr. Vais Pramar University of Horticulture and Forestry, Thunang, Mandi, Machal Pradesh. And it's my privilege to welcome uh, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. N. Singh, sir, all the scientists and invited key speakers from the different institute and the industries, Registrar, Director of Extension, Dr. Vajpayee, sir, Director Research, all the deans and dean pages uh, of the different colleges, all the heads of the departments, and teaching faculty, organizing committee of the members, dear students, and all the uh, dear participants uh, from across the India. I hereby welcome you all in this plenary session. Okay. Thank you very much. Dr. Tomer, over to you. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you, you sir, uh, for this uh, welcome address. Now, I uh, at the, this program, we have a very renowned speaker of this plenary speaker, Dr. Y.C. Gupta, sir. Uh, he is a chief guest of this program, plenary speaker also. Uh, sir, is a known face, uh, Dr. Y.C. Gupta, uh, name is a known face in the field of floriculture and landscape architecture. Though Gupta, sir, visited uh, this university <laughs> several times, and uh, I am very much grateful. He was part of this my selection committee also. <laughs> so both the uh, this uh, president of the program and Hello. Dr. Gupta Sahab, Namaskar. 
नमस्कार मावर जी कैसे हैं सर मैं ठीक हूँ अच्छा और हमारा पोता कैसा है पोता भी बस अब आ, है। आप आपके चमक आ गई सर है आपके चमक आ गई बिल्कुल खुशी चेहरे पे पूरी हाँ वो तो रहेगा भी वो तो रिसाइकलिंग ऑफ द चाइल्डहुड यस या थैंक यू थैंक यू सर और मैडम ठीक है सर हाँ सब ठीक है कैसे हैं डॉक्टर साहब गुप्ता सर कैसे हैं मैं ठीक हूँ डॉक्टर साहब थोड़ा सा कुछ ट्रेजिडी हो गई है घर में अच्छा ओ हो अच्छा मेरे बड़े ब्रदर जो है कोई पांच दिन पहले एक्सपायर कर गए ओ अच्छा वही मैंने आपको कैप लगाया और यहाँ मैंने तोमर जी को कमिटमेंट किया था मैंने कहा इसको मैं जरूर करूंगा <laughs> चलो ऐसा चला रहता पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ मेरे से बड़े थे अच्छा 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 मैं कल ही आया हूँ क्योंकि आजकल वो एक टाइम में खाना खाना पड़ता है ना थोड़ा वो जो रिचुअल है कुछ प्रॉब्लम आई है वहां पर जो आपका मेन जहाँ से डिस्प्ले हो रहा है आ, अभी करते हैं डॉक्टर बात करते हैं हम करके भी बताते हैं आपको देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम मुझे आ, नहीं आ जाती है वर्चुअल मोड में वैसे यही एक प्रॉब्लम है अदरवाइज सबसे अच्छा है हाँ हाँ यहाँ बैठे बैठे आप लोगों से मुलाकात हो गई आफ्टर लाइक कमेटियां बनाना पड़ती थी हाँ 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 इनको बुलाओ इनको करो सब करो अब हो गई एक छोटे से कंप्यूटर में दुनिया सिमट गई है जी 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 संभव और बाकी बहुत है लेकिन लेकिन घाटे बहुत हो रहे हैं जैसे स्पेशली टीचिंग में हाँ बच्चे मार मार के पास हो रहे हैं <laughs> हमने तो वैसे ऑफलाइन कर दिया अब यहाँ ना अच्छा 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 हमारे यहाँ नहीं खुलने वाला खुल गया है डॉक्टर साहब एंड होप वी विल आल्सो ओपन आवर कैंपस बाय ट्वेंटी थर्ड ट्वेंटी थर्ड बिकॉज ट्वेंटी थर्ड इज द इलेक्शन डे गवर्नमेंट अनाउंस ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सो वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग अवर से ओपन आवर यूनिवर्सिटी हाँ ऑफलाइन मोड तो अब थोड़ा सा वो है चल रहा है ठीक है खुलते हैं बाकी डॉक्टर एस एन गोस्वामी से तो रोज व्हाट्सएप पे चैट होती है अच्छा अच्छा जैम जब से हम आपसे वहाँ आए थे उस टाइम से उनके साथ जैम थरो जेंटिल मैन बहुत ही जबरदस्त बहुत अच्छे तोमर क्या हुआ डॉक्टर तोमर डॉक्टर अजय वट इज मोबाइल से कर रहा हूँ मैं मोबाइल से कर रहा हूँ डॉक्टर तोमर वट इज प्रॉब्लम हाँ सर एक्चुअली इट वाज़ प्रॉब्लम ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली नेटवर्क वाज़ डिस्कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम दिस हॉल व्हेन वेयर आई एम सिटिंग अच्छा नाउ वी जस्ट ज्वाइंड थ्रू दिस मोबाइल सर एम आई ऑडिबल सर हाँ या यू आर वेरी मच ऑडिबल बट व्हाई दिस इज हैपनिंग व्हाट इज द रीजन नेटवर्क सर एक्चुअली नाउ अवर एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर उमेश चंद्रा एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू रिजोल्व तो Uh, I was just talking about this uh, pen, uh, speaker, the uh, plenary speaker. He is uh, uh, accepted our request. So, Dr. Y C Gupta, sir, uh, this uh, place, uh, Bundelkhand place, is not uh, new for him. Uh, he has visited several times, as I told you. And uh, just uh, uh, very brief profile, just I am citing before the uh, participants. Though he is known uh, persona in the field of horticultural landscape architecture, sir, graduated and post graduated from the. A very famous RBS College, Bispuri Agra University, and doctorate from IRI New Delhi in 1997 in horticulture and landscaping. And uh, sir, uh, he started his career at Bias Parmar University of Horticulture and Forestry, Solan, as assistant horticulturist and associate professor, professor and professor and dean. And uh, present uh, he handled the dean College of Horticulture, uh, new campus Thuang Mandi, uh, district Himachal Pradesh. And uh, uh, sir guided to more than 25 students and 14 PhD students as a major advisor, and assisted in framing the courses for MSc and PhD for agriculture at national level. Uh, sir authored, uh, co-authored 25 book chapters and manuals published on research and development of floricultural landscape. And uh, sir uh, done very wonderful research, developed various varieties including Solan Mangla, uh, Solan Mangla, Gladiola, Solan Singar of Chrysanthemum. 
and sri uh, birbhadra singh of carnation 2016 developed 30 hybrids of gladiolus five hybrids of marigold four hybrids in antirrhinum and three hybrids of pangi and patent him flora a very computerized uh, botanical database of wild ornamentals of himachal pradesh and uh, had a 25 research projects for the development of floricultural landscaping uh, national chairman of dust testing center of carnation and lilium under ppbfra new delhi and sir was awarded by the dr manmohan attawar gold medal award in floriculture by the indian society of ornamental horticulture iri new delhi lotus puraskar 2012 in a society of ornamental horticulture iri new delhi and fellowship 2019 in a academy of horticultural sciences fellowship from various societies and uh, sir uh, very tremendous contributions in the uh, this uh, 120 publications and 60 research publication 13 uh, uh, phd msc students and uh, delivered various talks so very brief profile i read though uh, sir doesn't need any means uh, introduction first uh, i would like to share the information sir uh, personally is very much uh, in a trauma uh, the, the last week uh, two casualties in his own family but the uh, professionalism and the commitment the way sir you have shown uh, i salute you sir Uh, my pranam sir because uh, your own uh, brother in law expired the last week sir you informed me and uh, three days four days back uh, your own brother uh, expired really sir i am extremely sorry my heartfelt condolences to goes to the your family members sir and but uh, sir uh, uh, this is your really um, uh, very much uh, means uh, we say we can say your professionalism your commitment and uh, your highness in spite of that and you you are available here and you went from your hometown to this uh, college uh, to prepare a ppt and share with us so thank you so much sir and uh, my uh, heartfelt heartfelt condolences on the behalf of the organizing committee to you sir ki is samay aap kis tarah se beet rahi hai sir jo gham hai phir bhi sir hum aapko नमन करते हैं और प्रणाम करते हैं और सर आपको मैं निवेदन करता हूं कि आप ऑडियंस को अपना प्रेजेंटेशन दें वेलकम सर प्लीज सर थैंक यू वेरी मच डॉक्टर तोमर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माय लेक्चर और प्रीलिमिनरी लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमेटी स्पेशली प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ दिस वर्कशॉप वाइस चांसलर वाइस चांसलर डॉक्टर एन पी सिंह एंड माय फ्रेंड Dr. Bajpayee Sir, Director Extension, and uh, I can say my students Ajay Kumar and uh, Rakesh, Dr. Rakesh and Dr. Tomar, a very good trio in developing floriculture at Banda Agricultural University. I personally happened to visit this place twice, and one time I visited Lucknow for the conducting the interview. This is a very rightly opted topic. Poor Bundelkhand require a post harvest management handling of all agricultural, horticultural, especially floricultural crops, in order to minimize the post harvest losses. As you know, India is a basket of flowers, of many flowers, traditional as well as modern cut flowers. introduced in india uh, from time to time latest data shows that india export about 350 crore rupees what rupees flowers and flower product to various countries and uh, because of versatile climatic conditions all the top 10 cut flowers as well as pot plants including foliage and flowering are being grown in india it gives a immense opportunity to the scientists as well as the growers to commercialize this sector in india some of the stalwarts of floriculture industry i i will mention their name dr vishnu swarup ji dr t k bose dr a p s gill Dr. N. K. Dadlani, Dr. Misra ji, Dr. S. P. S. Ragwa, Dr. 
there are so many dr ramesh kumar who paved the way for commercializing floriculture in india through acrip all india coordinated floriculture improvement project and uh, the area increases every year both for export and for domestic market some of the zones they came up like south indian floriculture north indian floriculture central floriculture central indian floriculture and northeastern uh, floriculture all of us know flowers are the de delicate and perishable item which require lot of care from growing harvesting storage packaging marketing as well as as funny customers or consumer facility so in this lecture i would like there are several speaker who spoke on this line the post harvest losses in ornamental ranges from 20% to 35% it varies from crop to crop so there is a need to look upon to think about the all these losses to minimize these losses so that our farmers can get maximum benefit i would like to start my presentation uh, in this post harvest management of cut flower uh, flowers as well as job ka join webinar kar do in this uh, there are several segments segments several segments quality of flowers definitely play a very important role in post harvest management pre harvest factor post harvest handling they are the most important thing to be thought from harvest to consumer level the one term is waste life it depends longer the waste life the more the flower value this uh, there is from 3 to 4 days to several days with the climatic condition as well as the season or a flowers so waste life always uh, depend on the flowers phases of handling starting from grower level shipper wholesaler retailer and consumer this is the chain which sometimes grower directly supply to the consumer it is a very rare case some most of the things they are through shipping wholesale and then retailer then finally to the customers three stages of very plays a very important role in post harvest management pre harvest factors harvesting factors and post harvesting factors they are the most important factor which control the uh, waste life of the flowers pre harvest crop selection species or cultivar plant type commercial variety season if i take the example of carnation especially from my area during summer the waste life is of, of, of not more than 7 days but then during from 15th of november to 5th and 50 days in ordinary water so this is the the season play very important and road commercial varieties some of the varieties they have less uh, they have less waste life than the other variety plant type uh, whether they are annual or a perennial it also depends so environmental factor they also play a very important role temperature one of the most important thing which i also faced higher the temperature lesser the waste life or lesser the keeping quality light and then light light levels influence the flowering time low light level may decrease the number of flowers 
also the way is life so we should keep in our mind that flowers grown in early houses are open this would get sufficient amount of light in term of lux or food candles quality of waters very important pre harvest factor if you are giving a very inferior quality of water or problematic waters having a saline water definitely the waste life will be reduced nutrients nutrients in fact one of the most important factor for controlling the shelf life or waste life it means we need a well aged fertilization for the flowers sometime if we increase the dose of nitrogen there will be a more vegetative growth we need a potassium fertilizer or potash which control the waste life cell wall so this these are the very important factor choose selection of fertilizer it means it gives a very important idea to the floriculturist to start or to start nutrition research on this flowers and uh, gases especially ethylene gas is a very some some of the flowers they are ethylene sensitive like carnation and thurium orchids they should be kept away from the ethylene they are pollinators may damage the foliage and buds sir part sir please aapka sir wo slide nahi aa move ho raha hai sir main to kar raha hu सर आप जो है ना आप सर उसी पे जो स्लाइड आप कर रहे हैं उस पे जरा उसी पे माउस को क्लिक करते जाइए तो आते जाएगा सर अच्छा अब आ रहा है एक बार सर रीशेयरिंग करिए दोबारा सर अब आ रहा है सर फर्स्ट स्लाइड आ गया है अब आप जिस स्लाइड पर पढ़ा रहे थे ना सर उसी को उसी स्लाइड पे ये ऑटो नहीं हो रहा है कुछ नेटवर्क का प्रॉब्लम होगा सर वहां पे वो तो जाता है क्योंकि ये आ रहा है अभी आपको ग्रोइंग टेक्निक्स आ रहा है अभी नहीं आ रहा अभी सर ओनली फर्स्ट स्लाइड हो रही है सर अब आया अभी प्री हार्वेस्ट आ गया है सर ये आ गया इसको कर रहा हूं मैं अभी सर क्या करिए ना हर स्लाइड को जब चेंज कर रहे हैं ना तो उसी स्लाइड को आप वहां चेंज करते रहिए सर ये ऑटो नहीं हो रहा है एक्चुअली मैं कर रहा हूं वैसे पता नहीं क्यों नहीं हो रहा मेरा तो हो रहा है अब आप देख नजर आए टाइप ऑफ प्लांटिंग इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द वेज लाइफ ऑफ दी प्लांट क्रॉप्स use of high tunnel and row covers extend season and the use of pgr plant growth regulators during specially in off season also play a very important role special practices like staking netting pruning disbudding bud capping especially in case of roses play a very important role in shaping the quality of the flowers are you तो अमर जी आ रहा है हेलो आ रहा है सर आ रहा है आ रहा है सुनाई दे रहा है सर आप बोलिए प्लीज दिखाई भी दे रहा है बढ़िया पेस्ट एंड डिजीजेस दे आर द वन ऑफ द फैक्टर्स विच कंट्रोल द क्वालिटी ऑफ द फ्लावर्स लेसर द इंसेक्ट पेस्ट एंड डिजीज अटैक मोर क्वालिटी फ्लावर विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द स्लाइड सर्टन इंसेक्ट is uh, damaging the lower part of the leaves especially roses i have seen practically especially this uh, white fly and the red spider mite one of the devastating insect for rose carnation and gerbera we should have a, a very technical backup to in controlling this insect pest time of spray concentration they play a very important role this is the one of the best factor which i feel if the 
flowers in, infested with the red spider mite means there is no value in the market so we have to see how to control this flowers from the insect pest diseases harvest the ultimate factors which also very uh, which also play very important time of harvest early harvesting in the morning hours because of high turgor pressure plants is cool and uh, this plays very important role especially in case of rose if you harvest rose before sunrise the turgor pressure is high phosphoric potential is not does not break down the there will be a long wage life so harvest index how to harvest when to harvest what is the exact stage and it varies from the variety to variety color to color but in general for long distance market we need a tight word stage of rose and uh, this is the one, one of the best uh, or you can say practically all the researchers as well as students they should identify this stage with the help of their teacher when to harvest flowers this is then slightly open for this fish mouth stage second stage and butterfly opening means for local market when the petals are unfurled carnation paint bud stage jervera when the ray florets are perpendicular to the stalk so then next comes the post harvest means clean we need a clean space clean buckets otherwise we will come across with the some of the microorganism attack then immediately after harvesting we need a bucket filled with a fresh water and free from all the insect pest microorganism put the harvesting flowers in those regularly use sharp and clean tools means sanitize tool this is the most important part if you have a uh, the spatial is not sharp then there will be some injury in the tissues of the cut stem don't lay down any spike on the ground this is a thumb rule for post harvest factor then remove the post harvest handling starts after removal of foliage in case of rose one third portion is de uh, deleafed and portion in water should only be stem as leaf deteriorator first cut stem at angle and do not for overfill containers means one third of the containers should be filled so this is these are the important points to be remembered during post harvesting of the flowers then pre cooling of flowers pre cooling means removal of field heat from the flower these are the temperature range for pre cooling of alstomeria 4 degrees centigrade anthurium 13 degrees centigrade chrysanthemum 0.5 to 4 degrees centigrade these are the some of the temperature rose 1 to 3 degrees centigrade gladiolus 4 degrees centigrade carnation 1 degrees centigrade solidgia bird of paradise 7 to 8 degree celsius shortly after pre cooling flowers are brought to the soldering chamber defective flowers are first removed injured flowers are removed the stage you are harvesting stage of the flower if the flower is fully open mixed with a tight bud stage flower of roses they should be also curled out then culling grading of the flowers based on the stem length they depends upon the flower to flowers 45 cm to 90 cm this is the international standard some of the international uh, council they have developed standard for rose carnation gladiolus jerveras so they are all available in the literature bunching for roses 20 flowers in a bunch there were 10 flowers individual flower bunches also in vogue in case of jervera packaging 
some flowers packed individually like orchid and germina some are uh, well, uh, they, they are packed in bunches in case of carnation roses orchids they are placed together and bunched properly and put in the boxes cold steros if we have no market then we need the facility of cold storage this is the we have a completely cool chain facility at dr y s parmar of university of horticulture forestry solan in which we have a high tech farm of rose carnation orchidaria and germera we are growing commercially there storage temperatures varies, varies with this species for long term st storage and short term storage and there are st different storage method dry storage wet storage and then temperature fluctuation they very play, play very important role and continuous supply of electricity is the most important part if you have a fluctuating electricity supply then ultimately the purpose will be defeated you need a, a, some of the gen set available in your uh, this uh, any any center where we are growing commercially flowers so that the farmer learns from us whenever they come in our farm they see all the facility how they are growing the flowers when they are harvest how they are packing what are the preserved solution and how they are packing in the boxes what is the real temperature inside the uh, cold storage then storage temperatures you see the picture how nicely they have arranged flowers in cold storage low paper lost self closing door we need self closing door and te uh, temperature fluctuation should not go 1 degree for night no mixed storage with for fruits and vegetables they emit ethylene while ripening so always try to don't mix any any vegetable and fruits with the flowers or transport flowers with the vegetable and fruits this is the again a rider uh, these are the some of the we come across with the physiological plugging if you are harvesting flowers keeping in your hand then ultimately the air bubble will come into the uh, vessels they will choke the flowers vessel and then when you put those flower in your basket they will never suck the flowers this is called physiological plugging and it it is mostly seen in the when the you are harvesting flower in a uh, this uh, especially in a dry conditions when there is a less irrigation facility in your poly houses or in your open condition this will reduce the waste life drastically and then bacterial plugging if you are keeping flowers in a, a very uh, filthy waters full of microorganism there will be a uh, there will be a enzyme formation which also plug the vessels this is called bacterial uh, plugging or, or uh, this uh, is reduced by using some of the biocides you know all these biocides are available and ethylene definitely aging it is source of reducing the flowers waste life whereas it is beneficial for certain fruits we need a preservative which inhibit the ethylene production so gases like methane ethane propane butane they are also used for controlling the waste life of the uh, of the plants slippiness you see it this is a very common in lilium as well as in roses petal drop when there is ethylene attack flower drop leaf drop yellow foliage is distorted flowers are the symptom because of ethylene in your inside your cold storage so we need a some of the thing so ph of water generally high acidic ph mean 3 to 5 3.5 or 3.5 to 4.5 it is 
very good for increasing the pH level because high pH will reduce the microorganism production. They will not be come within the pH level solution. Some of the magnesium, calcium, iron, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and iron they are mixed in the water. So these are the you can see the database on the DFR website. Floral preservative play a very important role because we need a carbohydrate for increasing the waste life in the form of sucrose. Biocides, fungi and bacteria state, 8 HQC or 8 HQS, and pH adjuster, citric acid. Change preservative every three days. This is a thumb rule. Some of the company, they have come out with their Chrysel, ready-made solution, RTS, ready to use. Silver thiosol, ethylene blockers, silver thiosol bait, applied at the time of harvest. Ethylene scrubber, K4, holding solution, Chrysel, we also got from Holland. So there is a need for the scientists who are in this field, who are studying the post-harvest physiology, as well as the post-harvest handling of flowers, they should come out with the ready-made solution so that we can supply to our farmers. Otherwise, if you are thinking that we have prepared this solution, they will not be prepared by the farmers at their own level. They are, I have seen so many uh, private houses, they are using only this uh, chlorine powder, mostly in many poly houses. In the grading polling, uh, grading hall, they are using this. So we then next is sanitation. It plays very important role. It started from tools. Tools should be sanitized. Working area should be fully sanitized. Employees long, long nails, bad hands. They require cleaning and then containers, non metallic containers, especially plastic buckets. Once the flowers are taken out from the flowers, they are again pre cooled. The flower boxes are shifted to the refrigerant for export purposes, where the temperature is 2 to 4 degrees centigrade and humidity is 90 to 95%. Sometimes we face a problem. If the, we are harvesting flower from Himachal Pradesh during summer, in summer the temperature here is 10 to 20 degrees centigrade. We are sending flower to the Delhi market, where the temperature is more than 35 degrees centigrade. If we are sending it through cool chain facility, as and when they are come out in the flower market, you have seen in the Connaught Place area, now it is shifted to the Meroli. They are uncleaned and not good, nicely managed as in case of foreign country. There will be a sleepiness. So many problems come with the flowers. So we need a complete such backup for in increasing the base life from harvesting from the field to consumer level. This is all about the post-harvesting handling of the flowers. Now. The processing product, value-added product, as it is uh, visible from the slides, we need, the first product is dry flower is, uh, one is dry flowers, so many dry flowers. Dr. Bharti Kasyap, one of our scientists, she spoke. This is the flower craft lab, which I took initiative in 2006 from central assistance. Now it is again increased. And one of the hotspots of the Dr. Y.S. University, every VIP, VIP or some of the farmers, so many uh, trainings were conducted for uh, making a livelihood for the, uh, especially for farmer women, young youth to double the farmer's income. This is again a, one of the most important topic. Dry flowers product, you can see dolls as spoken flower candles, and these are the floor arrangement. Dr. Alka Singh, she spoke nicely on this. Then essential oils. Dr. Mahamad spoke about the rose water. 
जैसमिन वाटर जैसमिन कंक्रीट देर आर सो मेनी फ्लावर्स केबड़ा ट्यूबरोज दिस इज द डेटा अवेलेबल ऑन दिस नेट ऑल्सो एंड अतर मीन्स फेडिंग सेंट ऑफ अतर इंक्रीज देर इज ए इंक्रीज रॉयल ऑयल कॉस्ट ट्वेल्व लैक्स पर के जी When I was a student, it was a one lakh rupees. So there is a twelve percent uh, increase. So this is the floral grass, Gopal Saini, who grows jasmine, rose kebada, or other business in the north. He is uh, has a complaint about the GST, eighteen percent. So our administrators do this, but also write to the government. To reduce the jasmine, uh, especially GST in case of perishable item, so that farmer can get maximum benefit, and then natural dyes uh, from a person from this uh, uh, Chennai. He spoke about the natural dyes. Some of the research work are going on on this topic also, and this is in a great demand nowadays. Edible dyes for making sweets. Coloring the clothes, coloring the dry flowers, so they they are eco-friendly and biodegradable. We have a lot of uh, this. Uh, this is a very important sector during Corona days. I think tons of ton flowers were thrown into a garbages or in the rivers. And we have a been a good research facility. The the people would have been. Saved the flowers from the waste. So, my dear researcher, try to work out or come out with the technology. When if there is any pandemic, we should have this research backup to give it to the farmers so that we can minimize the flower losses. This is uh, the uses of dyes, textile industry, cosmetic. industry hair dye so uh, as was told by the earlier speakers i will not i will skip only just to finish i was just interested in in a very cold reading at i i r i during my phd work and one of the variety kusan rangi geta is richest source of xanthophyll or lutens uh, this lutein is may Extracted from the petals and mixed in the water feet, so that the flower yolk becomes yellow. And this is a industry developed at, uh, I think, uh, Arunachalam or Kochi, Thomson Thomson Company. They are ex uh, selling this to some of the exporting this to the various countries. So this is the these are the industrial application of the some of the flowers where they are used. what are the pigments nanotechnology now will play a very important role in every department we need a biotechnologist or physiology and also physiologist so that they can assist the our flower flower floriculture scientist in uh, providing them technical backup so these are the common ornamental that can be used as a natural dye sources so i was just uh, also want to say in case of dry flower product we are producing we are doing research the main thing is as and when we color them we dye them they looks very nice after few weeks we found that color will is fading or there will be a mold attack fungal attack or mucor attack so There is a lot of scope for conducting a search work on these aspects also. Otherwise, if we are sending this product to the foreign country, then definitely we will face a problem. We can produce, no doubt, but we can produce only those product in which we have a, we are a strong. We have a complete technology. They will last for a longer period. It means. we need a study on containers we should associate with the industry people also like firozabad it is a glass city of india 
so some of the teams would go there see the containers or packaging boxes indian institute of packaging kolkata will also play a very important role this is all what my uh, my presentation as a plenary speaker i would like to thank organizer this is a, a very coming department i feel proud that i have been associated in selecting a nice jewel right from dr ajay kumar rakesh kumar and uh, ks tomar a very dynamic person and in fact they are mentors dr bajpayee ji director sir and now present vice chancellor they are always encouraging they guiding they are guiding them they are also going to organizing i also see the some of the video clip of mr put by ks tomar on the facebook it shows their commitment towards the in this field of floriculture so in case of banda this is a this uh, post harvest has a immense immense potential a scope for doing research on the native flora which can be commercialized so with these words thank you very much for giving me this opportunity dr tomar yes sir yes sir thank you so much sir thank you so much sir uh, for uh, presenting uh, this uh, presentation and uh, uh, delivering your lecture as a plenary speaker of this plenary session and uh, renowned floriculturist uh, uh this country uh, dr yc gupta sir spoke before us uh, so we are fortunate to have uh, to, uh, to listen him and uh, uh, sir uh, as sir told ki <laughs> sir is very much uh, means associated with this university uh, since my hod to me <laughs> all three persons were selected uh, uh, through this uh, select advisory selection committee or sir was a part of the member of the selection committee so we are grateful sir to have a, a means a association with you sir so uh, on behalf of this uh, uh, department on behalf of the university i express once again sincere gratitude to uh, uh, means uh, accept our request at this moment uh, what uh, feeling you have sir but you are joining so this is a very means uh, tremendous uh, means uh, this is a lesson means eye opening for all the means professionals ki kaise mauke par bhi aap apne aap ko kaise mazboot rakhe hue hai sir main itna hi keh sakta hu main bahut chhota bete ki tarah hu aapke sir uh, as audience uh, participants jab tak hum kisi uh, participants ka feedback nahi lete hain uh, tab tak hamara ye adhura hota hai karyakram so uh, that's why only few uh, means participants i selected uh, four five participants uh, उसके बाद हमारे प्रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर वाजपेयी सर का स्पीच होगा तो डॉक्टर किरण मालसा किरण मालसे ही इज एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एंड एग्रीकल्चर कॉलेज एंड पोली महाराष्ट्र यूनिवर्सिटी सो आई इनवाइट माई कॉल अपॉन डॉक्टर किरण मालसे सर टू गिव योर फीडबैक हाउ वाज दिस प्रोग्राम बिकॉज सिंस यस्टरडे यू आर एसोसिएटेड so please sir uh, welcome uh, to uh, this uh, as a panelist as a member and uh, very means uh, active participant so please sir suggest your uh, this feedback uh, whatever suggestions so that we can improve further uh, so good afternoon sir me audible sir yes yeah, yeah. you, you are audible sir okay good afternoon sir requested uh, uh, dais dignitaries all this Uh, participants students and stakeholders that we know that that flower is a uh, considered as a importance and decorative organ of our horticulture and as there is a uh, quantum of post harvest loss in our horticultural crops but the emphasis that was given only on the uh, remedies for the uh, reduction of the post harvest losses in especially fruits and vegetable but it is a good attempt done by the organizer as the uh, new portfolio of post harvest management and value addition in the power crops that have been topics uh, selected for this uh, national webinar then the chief guest and the address key persons that have given the emphasis or focus on the present status and future strategies in horticulture 
for the industry as we know that we only consider as a power crops as a religious and some decorative purpose but we never think about its value addition as a big industry in our horticulture sector the theme that is consisting of so many constructive lectures uh, who that uh, uh, give emphasis on the post harvest physiology of power crops their handling packaging and practical uh, sessions on the uh, packaging section also and value additions and general status and scenario of our horticulture as may say in the power crops again i am giving the insurance that that is the very constructive lectures and it is very beneficial to stakeholders as well as the students i may say as a, uh, a professor that is a complete uh, webinar is a, just like a 2 plus 1 credit course so that is one my suggestion that we have to go for developing the value chain management in our uh, flower crops in a multidisciplinary manner as well as the um, multi industrial approach in research and development in post harvest handling that is very essential because we know that only use of the flowers or the floricultural crops is only limited but we are not thinking about its value addition and other aspect so this uh, webinar that is a given a good platform for the research and development as well as the uh, prosperous in the floricultural section and the power production in our uh, country so this is a very good attempt that is done by that organizer by uh, banda agriculture university and uh, especially that to tomar sir and his uh, uh, scientist team that from each and every corner of that our uh, country they have invited the precious lecturers and uh, experts for delivering this uh, lectures again uh, vice chancellor dr jankaram sir ji and our director uh, of our uh, dfr from pune uh, he is also given the very excellent lecture as a which is informative for uh, our future prosperous uh, in our the floricultural world so i again expressing my view that i have given this uh, opportunity to our student to uh, msc and phd to join this lecture and in a classroom we give exposure to him for uh, listening this lecture and i am given assignment for this student uh, to submit one uh, uh, presentation of at least 10 to 15 slides on this aspect that will give us better uh, opportunity to you on for thinking on this aspect so very uh, very uh, uh, informative lectures and webinar by organized by this uh, uh, banda agriculture university so i am thankful uh, to them as they given me opportunity to uh, view my uh, uh, thoughts regarding this and uh, act as a panelist so i am thankful to you sir tomar sir i am very you. thankful to you your team and all the organizers thank, thank you, you thank you dr kiran marse ji thank you so much uh, for your valuable remarks uh, whatever suggestions definitely we will uh, incorporate uh, for uh, further program so now we have uh, yeah, yeah, professionals yeah, ko invite nahi karte hain so we have a very uh, means uh, renowned means in this uh, punjab uh, very progressive growers of this bulbous crops especially in this uh, gladiolus सरदार गुरविंदर गुरविंदर सोढ़ी जी ही इज ग्रोइंग ग्लेडुलस बहुत ज्यादा एरिया में ग्रोइंग कर रहे हैं लास्ट ईयर ही सप्लाइड सम ग्लेडुलस बल्ब आल्सो टू मी सो मे आई इनवाइट गुरविंदर सोढ़ी जी प्लीज सर आप अपना सोढ़ी साहब अपना एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करिए बिकॉज सिंस यस्टरडे यू आर एज ए पार्टिसिपेंट ज्वाइन सोढ़ी साहब थैंक यू सर आवाज आ रही है आप आ रही है नमस्कार नमस्कार सर थैंक यू सबसे पहले मैं डॉक्टर तोमर सर का धन्यवाद करता हूं क्योंकि उन्होंने मुझे आज यहां पर अपनी फीडबैक देने के लिए मौका दिया सर एज ए फार्मर अगर मैं बात करूं तो ऐसे वेबिनार सेमिनार मतलब बहुत ही ज्यादा होने चाहिए क्योंकि किसान जो है ना एज ए किसान अगर मैं बात करूँ तो हमें उगाना सब कुछ आता है लेकिन उसको बेचना और उसकी वैल्यूडेशन करनी नहीं आती तो so, दो दिन से मैं एक मिनट भी वेबिनार से बड़े साइड में नहीं हुआ तो बड़ा कुछ सीखने को मिला जैसे हमारे रेस्पेक्टेड गुप्ता सर हैं महावर सर हैं शार्ली मैम सभी के लेक्चर इतने बढ़िया थे कि मैं आपको बता नहीं सकता कि किसान को कितना फायदा होगा जैसे हमें सबको मालूम ही है कि कोविड के टाइम पे सबसे ज्यादा नुकसान है जो फूलों की खेती वाले किसानों का हुआ था 
अगर उस टाइम पे जो है हमें पता होता कि वैल्यूशन का जैसे हम लूज फ्लावर की बात करें तो ड्राई फ्लावर का था अगर उस टाइम पे हम इनको सुखा कर बेच सकते तो उतना शायद हमारा नुकसान ना होता जितना कि पहले हुआ है सो मैं बहुत ही धन्यवाद करता हूँ इसके अलावा जैसे आपने बताया वेबिनार में भी हम जैसे कीनिया का नाम लिया उसने कंट्री का क्योंकि कितना एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा है और हमारा इंडिया का क्लाइमेट इतना अच्छा है क्योंकि हम उस तरह क्यों नहीं एक्सपोर्ट कर सकते ना थोड़े बहुत आपने बताया जहाँ से एक्सपोर्ट हो रहा है लेकिन इसको और ज्यादा बढ़ाना चाहिए और ज्यादा एक्सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं मीडिया से Uh, मैं भी uh, दो तीन साल पहले कट uh, फ्लावर का ही देखने के लिए ना वो गया था हॉलैंड गया था तो वो काफी कंपनी से वहां पर मिला था उन्होंने भी बताया कि हम ज्यादातर अपनी खेती अभी कीनिया में करवाने लग गए हैं वहां से डेली कार्गो uh, प्लेन आ रहा है फूलों को लेकर स्पेशली हॉलैंड के जो ऑक्शन सेंटर है वहां पर सो so, uh, बहुत ही अच्छा लगा इसके अलावा सर uh, मैं दो तीन साल से बताना चाहता हूँ वो इंडिया में नया फूल है अभी आ, मैं चाहूंगा बड़ा ही आ, मार्केट में उसकी डिमांड भी बहुत आ रही है और उसका जो बल्ब है वो भी बहुत अच्छा बन रहा है पंजाब में मैं तीन साल से इसको उगा रहा हूँ और मैं सभी जितने भी आपके साथ जुड़े हुए इंस्टीट्यूट यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं साइंटिस्ट हैं उनको मैं एज ए ट्रायल वो फ्री में उसके बल्ब दूंगा जो नेक्स्ट सीजन आएगा ताकि और सभी जो उनके साथ किसान जुड़े हुए हैं उनको वो नैन पुरुष को प्रमोट करना चाहिए वो सेम ही आपको तो सभी जानती है वो गुलाब की तरह ही फूल है तो so, जितना किसानों का फायदा हो सकता है वो करना चाहिए और सर एक छोटी सी फीडबैक और थी अगर ऐसे से, मतलब सेमिनार ऑफलाइन जैसे यूनिवर्सिटी में जा कहीं और हो सके ना और जो किसान अटेंड कर सके दो तीन दिन का ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम हो और जो किसान पहले एक्सपोर्ट करते हैं या वैल्यू एडिशन करते हैं अपने फ्लावर्स की अगर उनको मतलब वो ट्रेनिंग टाइप हम वो दिखा सके तो वो, वो बहुत ही अच्छा होगा सो so, एक बार मैं फिर बहुत ही धन्यवाद करता हूँ सभी साइंटिस्ट का जिन्होंने इतनी अच्छी हमें जानकारी दी एज ए किसान में बहुत ही बता नहीं सकता आपको इतना खुश हूँ इतनी जानकारी मुझे मिली और बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद डॉक्टर तोमर साहब थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सोड़ी साहब मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा एज ए ग्रोवर और आपको हेल्प मैं बताना चाहूंगा कि लास्ट ईयर जब मुझे वैराइटीज नहीं मिल रही थी स्टूडेंट्स के ट्रायल के लिए कि ड्यू टू कोविड इवन आईआरआई ने बोला कि नहीं हमारे पास इस समय को तो सोड़ी साहब ने हमारी मदद की और सोड़ी साहब ने एक पैसा नहीं लिया मैंने उनको बहुत बोला कि स्टूडेंट्स का है हम तो ऑफिशियली आपको पेमेंट कर देंगे कोई इसमें पर्सनल नहीं है और उन्होंने बोला कि सर आप रिसर्च कर रहे हैं बच्चों को इतनी दूर से मंगा रहे हैं सो फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट इन्होंने पूरा कोरियर में पैक करके हमको अपनी बड़ी अच्छी वैरायटी भेजी दो तीन वैरायटी तो इसको कहते हैं कि लोगों के साथ सहयोग करना सो रियली सोड़ी साहब आई एम वेरी मच थैंकफुल आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया और आप कितनी व्यस्त समय से निकाल के मैंने ना इस साल वो करीब फूलों की खेती मैं सिर्फ एक हजार स्क्वेयर मीटर से शुरू की थी आज इस साल मैंने 125 एकड़ में फूलों की खेती कर रहा हूँ मैं वेरी वंडरफुल वेरी वंडरफुल क्या क्या मैं सर चाहूंगा कि सोड़ी साहब आप थोड़ा सा बताएं कौन कौन सी क्रॉप ग्रो कर रहे हैं जो हमारे पार्टिसिपेंट और हमारे चीफ गेस्ट और प्रेसिडेंट प्रोग्राम कर रहे चेयर कर रहे हैं सुन लें जैसे दो में स्टार्ट किया था ग्लेडुल से और एक टाइम में मैं मतलब इंडिया में सबसे बड़ा ग्रोवर था ग्लेडुलस का जी और लेकिन कोविड की वजह से मेरा सबसे ज्यादा मेरा ही नुकसान हुआ था उस टाइम भी और मैंने इसको मैकेनाइज भी किया ग्लेडुल का प्लांटर भी बनाया ग्लेडुल का डिगर भी बनाया मैंने और पीएजू से मुझे इसके ऊपर मतलब ग्रांट भी दी उन्होंने एक हमारी पापी की है स्कीम है ना जो और ए आई आर सी पूसा ने मुझे इनोवेशन अवार्ड भी दिया था इनोवेटिव फार्मर अवार्ड इसके लिए मुझे और अभी मैं थोड़ा इसको डाइवर्ट कर लिया अपनी ग्लेडुल से मैं अभी एनुअल्स के ऊपर कर रहा हूँ मैं इसका सीड एक्सपोर्ट का शुरू कर लिया इस साल से ना मैंने काम पहले भी मैं करता था लेकिन इंडियन कंपनी को ही देता था लेकिन इस साल से मैं अपना डायरेक्ट एक्सपोर्ट का स्टार्ट कर लिया है वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ये एनुअल्स का सीड प्रोडक्शन का बहुत स्कोप है सर <laughs> एक्सपोर्ट का काफी है एक्सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं बहुत बड़ी बात है जब कभी कोविड की सिचुएशन और सुधरेगी तो हम लोग अपने स्टूडेंट्स को लेके आपके फार्म पे आएंगे पंजाब जरूर <laughs> पीजी स्टूडेंट्स को लेके so, जैसे बोला के ऊपर भी काम कर रहा हूँ तीन साल से जी जहाँ मार्केट में हूँ उसका बल्ब भी बड़ा अच्छा बन रहा है मैं ना जो नेक्स्ट सीजन आएगा अक्टूबर में आपको सभी जितने भी आप बोलोगे ना सभी जो इंस्टीट्यूट है जो फ्लोरिकल्चर के उनको हम एज ए थोड़े थोड़े बल्ब देंगे वो फिर मेरे हिसाब से उसको प्रमोट करना चाहिए ना काफी ज्यादा बिल्कुल सर थैंक थैंक यू सोड़ी साहब थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एंड गिविंग योर फीडबैक टू दिस पार्टिसिपेंट्स क्या क्या आपने जाना थैंक यू सो मच सोड़ी साहब
uh, now we have a next uh, uh, participant stj uh, students phd students in floriculture and landscaping at uh, iri ihr bangalore campus uh, anamika gurung so may i call upon anamika gurung uh, for giving your uh, feedback anamika uh, unmute your uh, mic and video also uh, on anamika yes sir good afternoon sir uh, good afternoon <laughs> First of all, uh, I'd like to give my greetings to Dr. Y.C. Gupta, sir. He was my guide during my MS program. Good afternoon, sir, <laughs> if you can hear me. First, uh, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Thomas, sir, for giving me this opportunity, and also to the Department of Floriculture and Landscape Architecture, Banda uh, University of Agriculture and Technology, for a two days virtual national workshop on post harvest management and flower value additions of ornamentals. Uh, it was indeed a very fruitful workshop where various aspects like status of floriculture globally and in India was talked about. Post harvest handling of loose flowers and cut flowers, uh, value addition in fresh flowers like flower arrangements and dry flower technologies were also touched upon. Other important aspects like essential oil extractions, flower pigment, uh, its importance were also talked about. And uh, like I hope uh, all the participants were benefited as much as I am. And uh, from this two days national workshop, uh, where all the topics on regarding the post harvest handling of ornamental crops were presented in a complete package. And once again, I would like to thank Dr. Thomas sir and all the um, organizing committee members. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Namika. <laughs> For the long time, <laughs> I'm seeing you <laughs> uh, through this video. <laughs> because uh, she was a student at College of Horticulture, Forestry, Pasigat, under graduation, and I was a teacher. Uh, she completed MSc from uh, YS Parmar. Now she is doing a PhD in floriculture landscaping at, in the last phase at IHR Bangalore. Thank you so much, Anamika. Uh, thank you. Now we have a next uh, participant, uh, Dr. Priyanka Sarma. She's assistant professor at Department of Floriculture and Landscaping and RLV Central Agriculture University, Jhasi, uh, Uttar Pradesh. So may I call upon Dr. Priyanka Sarma uh, for uh, your valuable feedback, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving me, me this opportunity to share madam, my Madam, you unmute your um, this, uh, video on, Karli Ji, madam, please. Otherwise, you can speak, no problem. Sir, yes, sir, I'm not getting option. Okay, no problem, you can speak. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity to share my views. So uh, I extend my heartfelt thanks to all the members of organizing team, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Banda University of Agriculture, Science and Technology, Dr. N.P. Singh, sir, organizing secretary of this workshop, Dr. K.S. Thomas, sir, uh, co-organizing secretary is Dr. Ajay Singh, sir, Dr. Rakesh Kumar, sir, and other members for organizing uh, such a workshop on topic of value addition and post-harvest management of flowers. Uh, I would like to mention that uh, this workshop has covered almost all the topics uh, that relates to post-harvest uh, handling of flowers and management of flowers, like post-harvest physiology of flowers, post-harvest management of cut flowers, cut greens, and even loose flowers also, value addition of flowers, drying of flowers, topics of flower pigments and aromatherapy, aroma technology, and uh, topics like flower arrangement and floral craft, and uh, preparation of value-added products of roses and etc. Uh, I would like to mention that uh, all the topics were covered very well by all the renowned speakers from institutes of all over the world. And uh, I hope all the participants, all the participants must have gained very good knowledge related to post-harvest management of flowers for extending the shelf life of flowers. And further, this workshop was also helpful as participants and entrepreneurs were benefited and must have gained knowledge for increasing their income from value addition of flowers and through dry flower technology of flowers as well. Uh, as we know, during this pandemic time, uh, there was huge losses to flower producers. So workshop like this plays 
important role in avoiding these losses and this would further help the producers in avoiding these losses through the techniques of value addition and uh, drying of flowers i think all the topics were covered related to post harvest handling of flowers and it was overall very excellent uh, workshop sir uh this workshop was also helpful for participants from uh, bundelkhand region yeah, like me for getting uh, thorough knowledge for increasing the shelf life of flowers and for value addition of flowers and ultimately increasing the income of farmers so yeah. i would like to uh, congratulate all the team members of the department of agriculture and landscape of banda university of agriculture science and technology for organizing this wonderful workshop thanks to all thank you thank, thank you, you uh, thank you uh, dr priyanka sharma you. Uh, for your valuable feedback uh, now we have last uh, participant sakshi misra uh, sakshi misra uh, you are allowed to talk sakshi misra you are uh, listening now you uh, 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 say your uh, feedback. Sakshi Mishra is a oh, student sorry. of BSc. Uh, pardon, uh, Sakshi, one minute. Uh, Sakshi Mishra is a student of BSc Horticulture, uh, second year student, and he is a student. So now Sakshi. First, uh, good evening to all of you. And first, I would like to thank all the organizer committee of Banda University and Agri uh, Culture Technology Banda for organizing this program. and to give us opportunity to be a participant of this program and uh, for giving the informations which is very reliable for me sir i have never done works up earlier but after attending this i am able to clear my all doubts within me because due to lockdowns there i am unable to understand the, some uh, classes particularly practical classes in a proper way so there are many questions within me that uh, i am always uh, want to solve but after this attending this the many doubts we have clear and sir uh, particularly i would like to thank my uh, advisor sir dr ajay singh sir and the organizer of this program dr chris uh, krishna singh tomar sir and other faculty team member for giving uh, the information which is regarding to the proper arrangements and other that we have uh, today derived and so uh, many informations that i have derived even though uh, currently i am a student of graduation but after attending this programs i have get very in, uh, motivations and i decided that i i it is try to myself to entrance in this sector so that i can also make a good career in it and so uh, thanks for motivate me and i have also decided very very information thank you thank you thank you sachi uh, for your valuable remarks and joining this program and uh, dr kiran marse ji please aap apna mobile ko mute rakhiye bar bar unmute ho ja raha hai thoda sa please uh, now uh, we have a, uh, a time to listen our honorable uh, president of this program dr nk bajpay sir uh, sir is director extension and this banda university of agriculture technology banda since 2015 earlier sir has worked in uh, uh, maharana pratap university of agriculture technology maharana udaipur rajasthan uh, as a uh, this is senior scientist head in kvk and the professor in agriculture entomology department and various uh, key positions uh, uh, sir decorated at uh, mpat udaipur rajasthan sir is a dynamic uh, means a person in the field of agricultural entomology and uh, though uh, sir accepted uh, our my request in the last hour uh, to address uh, so um, thank you so much sir for accepting my uh, request uh, vajpay sir namaskar sir thank you sir thank you dr tomar thank, uh, thank you sir and uh, we are very much thankful uh, on behalf of the departments to have a, a sir uh, as a uh, president of the program so on behalf of this organizing committee sir may i uh, request you invite you to address the audience sir please sir thank you dr tomar sir thank you i am really very glad to see the success of meticulous efforts and planning 
made for this uh, mega event that is a post harvest management and value addition of ornamentals. Uh, see, this place is very disadvantageous in many regions, but uh, somehow the people say that when there is a way, there is a will, there is a way. This mega events has been organized and successfully completed and with the blessings of many stalwarts of the floriculture field in consisting of uh, ornament, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Jan Kiramunsal, Director Sir Avaruf, uh, Director of Floriculture Research and uh, the people from many organizations. What I saw the uh, I flyer and as well as the program, I just uh, see that that uh, the people uh, stalwarts from the uh, nine or 10 organizations plus their informations, their vast experience and expertise among the participants. This is the very good things. When the people from the different I mean, places, different heterogeneous uh, organizations are communicating their information, exposures, or whatever the information they are having, then naturally uh, this has the impact in the uh, percolation of the information among the participants, number one. Number two, the topic itself is very uh, important because the people were uh, only concentrating on the flower, I mean, fruits, vegetables, and moreover on the post harvest of the flowers, fruits and vegetables. But coming to the uh, covering of post harvest management and value addition of flowers, it was really a very uh, I miss, uh, important topic because science is behind with these topics. You cannot handle this topic if the peoples are not having the science with them. So covering these topics uh, with the full zeal and uh, naturally the organizing committee Dr. Uh, S. V. Devidi, Dean of the College of Horticulture, had our uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar Singhji, then uh, organizing Dr. Uh, K. S. Tumar, Dr. Uh, Rakesh Kumarji. They have done a lot of efforts and they have naturally, uh, I was thought, very well thought to put the vulnerable idea of the subject, how the people can be advantageous. Because the uh, see calling the people from the different corner to one place it was very tough it is very tough but their idea has come from the single technology that is the virtual technology and it has spread across the country and see from the single place the 250 participants including 150 students UG PG PhD then 50 flory entrepreneurs and uh, the 50 faculty members see this is the one platform where grower, teacher, and students are coming together to share or to get the information. And that is only one topic, which is flowers are itself is a very perishable nature. So considering the perishable uh, demerits of the flowers, if you are planning anything to increase the self-life or increase the value of the flowers, it is a very wonderful idea. So my appreciation, my uh, congratulations, to all my dear friends who are working here since the last three, four years, five years, six years to uh, establish the college, to establish the develop, uh, department. And now they are coming to uh, make the visibility of our university across the corner of country. So that is my appreciation. And uh, naturally, I'm very thankful to the Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Jankiraman, who is the stalwart in the field of uh, uh, floriculture. They, he has also spared his times. And Director uh, Dr. Prasad Sir, who, is the, uh, key, who presented the keynote address on presentation of Indian floriculture ministry, he is the Director of uh, Indian Institute of Floriculture at Pune. He has given very, uh, both they have not both every experts who has been called for this workshop, they have given very wonderful and very updated information, which is not useful for the students, but for the growers also. As Ripu Daman said that I am very much enlightened and delighted to see the, uh, uh, to have had the information through this workshop and this type of workshop should be frequently organized, not only the online model, model uh, mode, but offline mode also. So, uh, in my opinion, the organizers are deserving the appreciation as well as the scientists and the experts who have been associated with the behind the idea of this workshop. They all deserve my uh, appreciation from the core, the core of my heart. And the students also participated, as well as the faculty members, gurus also. 
and in my opinion that the college of horticulture uh, in our university is having very good faculty and uh, see in uh, most of the college this type of heterogeneous faculty as well as the number of faculties is not available and the faculty who have just joined this institute chosen this institute as their career is proving their uh, i mean caliber over here in giving the glory to the university so um, with all these words i say that uh, the topic which has been uh, selected and the uh, program which has been made considering the two important words post harvest management and value addition has been covered very nicely covering with the experts from the corner of the country maybe from the north to south east to west and uh, uh, some of the colleagues who i have saw over here i am personally knowing him maybe my friend dr mahavard sir and dr gupta sir and uh, many others So I request Dr. Uh, Thomason and our head of the department, Dr. Ajay sir, that uh, work we should uh, again organize uh, this type of workshops in other parts of the flowers, and naturally uh, it will help to our part also. To, because this is very disadvantageous part. We need the uh, science. We need the application of science in our area. We are living in the dry zone. so i know that dr tomar and dr uh, ajay singh dr rakesh they are doing very hard task to promote the floriculture in the area so somehow this type of interactions deliberations and with the blessings of our stalwarts this department will flourish like anything university will get the good name and our uh, people our persons who are the uh, i mean uh, foundation of the university they will get the good name so with all these words i again thanks to the uh, our vice chancellor and our vice chancellor dr p sir who has given us opportunity to work this workshop and thanks to my team members who has done very hard uh, task the force to make this program successful and all the experts who delivered their informations and participants who attended this programs with all these words i once again i am thankful to all and thanks to organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to express my views thank you very much dr tomar please uh, thank you very much sir uh, dr bajpay sir for presidential address and so much encouraging words sir and i also very much thankful to our uh, uh, guest of this plenary section dr y c gupta sir for very informative and uh, you know very encouraging words he is the mentor of uh, all of us and at the end of this plenary session i would like to invite dr p s tomar for uh, vote of thanks dr tomar thank you so much sir sir first of all at the outset uh, the president of this pro chief guest of this program uh, dr y c gupta sir uh, who joined this program from himachal uh, dr n k vajpayee sir director extension from but banda and uh, dr uh, ln mahavar sir from mput rajasthan and uh, all the uh, renowned speakers key resource persons who joined this program and peer uh, participants at the outset uh, i uh, express my sincere gratitude uh, to the honorable vice chancellor of this uh, university banda university of technology banda dr n p singh ji who uh, immediately allowed me when i um, just thought it, uh, to, uh, to organize this program and uh, allowed me to hire this uh, costly or affair in this zoom um, participation so uh, the financial supports for giving me and uh, always suggested okay, how to uh, arrange this program uh, speakers who will be speakers and the chief guest uh, uh, dr janki ram so i am i'm extremely thankful to dr np singh ji honorable vice chancellor of this university who supported me and uh, wholeheartedly supported me uh, for organizing this program thank you so much sir though he was uh, uh, some busy uh, schedule so he could not join this validity uh, session uh, due to some health problem also but uh, morning session yesterday normal session he was uh, joined then uh, uh, very important uh, uh, speaker yesterday dr t janki ram sir he was the uh, he was vice chancellor in this uh, 
डॉक्टर वाई एस आर एग्रीकल्चरल यूनिवर्सिटी वाई हॉर्टिकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी आंध्र प्रदेश वाई एर गुडन सर ऑल्सो हैप्पीली एक्सेप्टेड अवर रिक्वेस्ट टू बी अ चीफ गेस्ट एंड डिलीवर्ड इनग्रल एड्रेस ऑल्सो Uh, yesterday though uh, in uh, this ysr agriculture horticulture university interview is going on but despite that busy schedule he spared his valuable time with us and he addressed uh, us and uh, next uh, uh, speaker uh, was a uh, very important chief guest of honor yesterday dr k b prasad sir he is a uh, director in institute of floricultural research Uh, this is a uh, very important institution uh, where he is heading this uh, this institute so dr uh, k b prasad sir accepted our request and uh, very nicely keynote address presented and the very means a detailed elaboration about the status of indian floricultural industry uh, he uh, uh, presented to the Uh, audience so i am extremely thankful to him also uh, whole inaugural session uh, was uh, graced by him so thank you so much uh, both i uh, mean uh, chief guest and guest of honor for yesterday's program uh, for being with us next uh, i am very much thankful uh, to today's uh, chief guest dr yc gupta sir Uh, sir the way you have accepted our request and the way you have uh, shown your uh, affection to this university to this uh, to our team uh, i am very much thankful to sir you and really uh, i am grateful uh, i am speechless uh, the moment you are joined with us uh, really sir i am totally speechless so sir uh, uh, my uh, uh, gratitude to you sir uh, then uh, today's uh, president of this program uh, dr n k vajpayee sir uh, sir is always suggesting uh, always helpful for us and whenever today just i requested him sir to be to chair this program and sir is uh, immediately accepted and uh, the whole uh, this plenary session uh, vajpayee sir ne hamare sath pura sahyog kiya aur uh, sir uh, being a director of extension because uh, sir is extending the technology so that's why we invited sir to chair this uh, you know plenary session so the technology being ultimately it will be implemented by the uh, as this uh, uh, scientist at the kvk so whatever deliberation deliberations have been made by the key persons in this uh, today's uh, webinar so definitely uh, it will be delivered by the uh, these uh, resource person at kvk so thank you so much sir for thank accepting you. our request and for chairing this program as a president and giving your presidential address valuable remarks and suggestions and the happiness you have shown so it is uh, remarkable and uh, it is very much uh, unique for for us uh, our uh, uh, all these key resource persons without their key resource persons this program uh, we cannot imagine so this is my moral responsibility to give up each and every name at this point of time if i could not give a name so i cannot justice with this vote of thanks so uh, dr salini jhanji he is a precision plant physiologist p ludhiana uh, dr pooja sharma associate professor department of floriculture landscape architecture dr babita singh scientist uh, iri division of floriculture landscaping Uh, tejas patel managing director revenue 9 agri produce nasik maharashtra dr ritu jain senior scientist division of floriculture landscaping iri new delhi dr bharti kashyap associate professor department of floriculture landscape architecture dr ys parmar university of horticulture forestry solan dr rk srivastava senior scientist in hand head business development group csir cmap lucknow uttar pradesh dr d dhana sekran assistant professor department of horticulture annamalai university tamil nadu and dr alka singh professor and head department of floriculture landscape architecture navsari agriculture university gujarat dr alan mahawar sir professor icrp floriculture department of horticulture maharashtra pratap university of agriculture and technology udaipur rajasthan so all these key resource persons uh, accepted our request and prepared the uh, this presentation according to our topic and uh, tried their level best to satisfy the uh, participants 
during this uh, two days uh, maybe not my uh, heartfelt uh, gratitude to all of you sirs and ma'am uh, for uh, joining this webinar this not only uh, accepted our request and uh, attended this webinar as a key speaker the, all the key resource persons i just uh, saw the list uh, being a host uh, sometimes i forgot to see the list but whenever i checked i saw madam ritu jain madam puja sharma madam bharti uh, most of almost all the key resource persons are just matlab uh, joined listened all the lectures also so this shows the means uh, means uh, curiosity and uh, means uh, means uh, uh, voracious uh, means learning habits uh, being a scientist so thank you so much on behalf of the uh, university of uh, this banda university of agriculture technology banda i express my Uh, thankfulness to all the sirs and ma'am uh, for being with us as a key resource persons and connected to the uh, through virtually and uh, now my uh, sincere gratitude uh, to the uh, registrar of this uh, university dr sk singh ji and uh, my dean uh, dr s b duvedi ji college of horticulture he is a chairman of this program uh, due to some he is a personal uh, family problem so he could not uh, spare today's uh, uh, time with us so uh, i express my uh, thankfulness to duvedi sir uh, he always uh, helpful uh, for conducting such type of uh, noble program and uh, all the uh, deans of the uh, constituent colleges of this banda university of agriculture technology especially dr g s pawar ji dean college of agriculture Uh, uh, dr sanjeev kumar ji dean college of forestry and uh, associate dean college of community science dr bandana kumari ji and pg uh, dean dean pg studies dr mukul kumar ji and uh, all the senior most directors uh, as i already told dr um, uh, bajpai sir is uh, already with us and other directors director research dr s mishra ji director um, administration and dr b k singh ji and director seed and farm dr sales kumar singh ji and uh, director training and dr bhanu mishra ji and uh, director uh, uh, pme dr shivastav uh, ji and all the associate directors and all the hods of this university who uh, were uh, part of this inaugural session and the whole, in entire inaugural session they were joined and listen so i am very much thankful to them uh, then uh, uh, all the organizing committee members because without their supports uh, without their unflinching support without their painstaking supports and this program could not be though i am i am online secretary i check out the program but a lot of responsibility a person cannot handle alone so this is a team work so until unless we give a name they are our uh, team members so the whole team uh, uh, we have uh, dr vidya misra uh, dr uh, uh, umesh chandra ji dr gorav sukla ji because umesh chandra ji gorav sukla ji this whole do, uh, two days and three days four days pura busy rahe because the internet internet connection and this thing about this zoom subscription so and dr akesh kumar ji uh, my colleague in department uh, dr kanojia and and uh, uh, other member dr brijesh brijend kumar singh ji who prepared a link uh, and dr durga prasad dr klesh kumar singh ji and uh, others uh, members uh, organizing committee who joined uh, who help us to organize this program so my sincere gratitude to my head uh, dr ajay kumar singh ji because uh, uh, most of the faculty members uh, allotted uh, this uh, election duty so even dr akes also my duty also in the night so dr ajay singh ji uh, always with us uh, just, uh, since morning to late evening yesterday and today uh, we are sitting together in hall and whatever problem we are facing immediately he is uh, uh, playing a role as a trouble shooter <laughs> with us through mobile so thank you so much uh, heads up uh, for supporting and uh, my dear participants because they are, they are uh, without participation this program cannot be uh, conducted uh, suppose we can organize we check out the program we uh, float the flyer we float the program schedule 
if participation is not there then who will go to whom so the entire from the entire country and the neighboring countries also people have registered and shown the their keen interest to join the program uh, from faculty senior most faculty professor associate professor do assistant professors are more and uh, research scholars pg scholars and and ug and pg students also and kbk personals and uh, growers especially just like uh, dr uh, see gobind rubinder singh sodi sahab from punjab he was speaking and feedback as in kitne sare speaker matlab uh, hamare growers also join to inke bina to sambhav nahi tha so i um, uh, uh, convey my uh, gratitude to them convey my thanks to them as really they are deserve uh, for appreciation uh, for commendation uh, for showing their keen interest for showing their interest uh, to be a part of this webinar uh, so entire organizing committee uh, is uh, grateful to them uh, so whatever suggestions will be asked by the participants so definitely i will pass on this message to the concerned key speak uh, key resource persons to re solve the problem uh, and then my beloved students of the department of floricultural landscape architecture because uh, in this time is a corona period so university is not opened and the next week onwards uh, our ug student will also be uh, means joining but this time only we have a final year pg students so they are also helping us uh, whatever problems uh, suppose we are facing so uh, rajat patel rajat singh ajay kumar and uh, amit kumar singh all the four students of pg students department of floricultural landscape architecture they are helping us so isi samay mein apna sabhi ko dhanyawad dete hue main sabse vida lunga aur guzarish karunga jo bhi mujhse galtiyan hui ho sakta hai due to technical problem i could not start some session in the time so but it was not in our hand it was not our technical team also but uh, our technical personnel both are scientists they are not a means computer operator but uh, being a faculty member just they are doing just like as a means as a as a matlab just uh, personal so uh, dr omesh chandra and dr gorav sukla ji because uh, i salute them वो जहाँ भी थे इवन खाना छोड़ा उन्होंने उनके बिना हम संभव नहीं कर सकते थे तो जब भी प्रॉब्लम आई तो मैं सारे पार्टिसिपेंट से वो सारी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एज ए ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सेक्रेटरी मैं अपनी पर्सनल अपनी तरफ से लेता हूँ इसमें किसी का फॉल्ट नहीं था क्योंकि किसी के हाथ में कुछ नहीं था बट आई कुड नॉट मैनेज दिस इज माई फॉल्ट सो वो सारी गलतियाँ मैं अपने ऊपर लेता हूँ इसमें किसी और का कोई फॉल्ट नहीं है सो वट एवर सजेशन विल बी मेड बाई दी पार्टिसिपेंट्स विल बी इम्प्रूव द नेक्स्ट सो सभी को मेरा पुरहा नमस्कार और प्रणाम थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू डॉक्टर तोमर थैंक यू थैंक्स अलॉट गुप्ता सर नमस्कार थैंक यू गुप्ता सर थैंक यू थैंक यू नाउ आई लीव दिस वेबिनार